want to be part of the elite. The SWAT team is known as the elite, and they are the ones who you call when things go wrong, and I wanted to be part of that. Hi, I'm Eric Young, and I'm the chief of police here in Ogden City. So the Ogden Weber Metro SWAT team has been existence, in existence since the uh, early 1990s. Uh, the, the program was pioneered by former Chief Randy Watt, and it's been one of the premier SWAT programs in the United States. SWAT to me is important and we prioritize SWAT in funding and training and the, the amount of resources we give to it because they are used in the most critical of circumstances. They are used when lives are most at risk, not only in the public but to officers as well. So having this team of highly skilled, highly trained individuals who train with each other on a monthly basis, know how each other are going to react uh, and makes us better prepared to handle any situation we may be confronted with here in Ogden City. Most people will tell you I want to get into law enforcement because I want to make a difference or I want to help people or I want to protect my community and so then once you get into it then there's a group of people who start going well I want to be part of that. I looked at it as an opportunity when I got on the team as I you know I have to be as ready as I can and if I get on the team then I can have more training, I can be more prepared, I can be more proficient, and I can invest uh, more time into my abilities and be a better officer. And I, th I think that's really what drives a lot of people to be the best they can be. Currently we have 30 members. There have been women in the past who had tried out and weren't successful in making it through our selection process. When I heard that Jenna was interested in competing in Hell Week and actually joining the SWAT team, I, was, I thought it was great. Uh, as the time came closer for tryouts, it was kind of funny. I, a lot of people were asking, well, are you going to do anything different? Are you going to... I said, no, we're not going to change anything. This is how it's set up and she can go through it. So um, I know a lot of people maybe had some hesitations. But as she got ready, she just she showed up and she treated it like everyone else. We treated her like everyone else and she treated tryouts like everyone else. She was very physically prepared. Boy, once you get to know her, you know her level of confidence and her level of commitment, you have no doubt what she can do, and she can do anything she sets her mind to. She performed better in some of the physical aspects than even some of the guys that were trying out for the team. I want to be part of the elite. The SWAT team is known as the elite, and they are the ones who you call when things go wrong, and I wanted to be part of that. I was raised in Las Vegas, Nevada, for elementary school all the way through high school. Uh, I got married, had two children, um, lived in Germany for three years, and then I moved here to Utah, uh, joined the police force. I decided to become a police officer because one, it runs in the family. I've got my dad who's a retired corrections officer at a state prison in Pennsylvania, along with my three brothers who also are correction officers in the state prison. And my brother-in-law is a sergeant down for the Las Vegas Metro. So I figured I would just join the rest of the family and become part of the law enforcement. I remember that Jenna and she was a little, t a little shy a little timid, um, maybe even a little intimidated by the process, but she was so impressive. And you could see that spark and that desire she had to do great things. And I was so excited to bring her on and make her part of this team. And I am so proud of what she's become and, and what she's made herself into. I heard about the SWAT team before I was an officer from a friend who worked at Ogden. Um, she's always told me there's never been a female on the team. There's never been a female capable of passing all the physical standards. So when I got hired, that was my first initiative. During the interview, what do you want to do? I want to be on the SWAT team. You have to be hired for 18 months to even try out for our team. And so ahead of that, she said, yeah, I'm going to come try out once, once, our, once the time comes that, I, that I'm eligible. Every year we hold a selection, which is a 24-hour period of training, which, and it's a physical, very physically demanding event. 
During the tryout, I was absolutely intimidated. I knew it would be a physical and mental challenge. Tryouts were in the middle of summer in June. So I started in January, February timeframe. I would wake up every morning at 3, 3.30, and I'd go on a three to five mile run with a vest on. And then I would hit the gym and lift weights later in the afternoon. It was just mentally exhausting. And then if you make it through selection, then you're invited to our week-long SWAT school, which is uh, referred to as Hell Week. There's nothing that can ever prepare you for the mental exhaustion that comes with Hell Week. And the Ogden Metro Hell Week was exactly that. You wake up, you work out, you shoot, you work out more, you get yelled at. And the training that you get, you have to comprehend, you have to retain, and then you have to show that you've retained it. But that, I don't think it was an easy road for her to get to where she is here. But it was honestly the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. But then I would think of my daughter at home and how I want to set a good example for her, and she was almost my driving force to just keep moving forward. The, the requirements to even try out for the team, the physical aspect of them, are extremely difficult, especially being a female. I don't have, I'm not built biologically the same way as a man. So one of the things about her getting on the team is the standard wasn't changed, and she proved that it was, um, that you could accomplish that, that you could do the, meet the same standards as everyone else. And, and so it, I think it had to open people's mind a little bit basically don't quit. I remember actually sitting up there watching uh, from the tower where we do the course at and she grabbed a hold of that dummy and started dragging it and just it was not even it didn't seem like an issue at all um, where some people really can struggle to get that thing moving and going and she she trained specifically for that. She struggled with shooting at first. Um, I worked countless hours upon shooting since it's the SWAT team, you're known as the best, and shooting is a skill that is required. So just lots of time and dedication and lots of working out. So, and that's one of the things I've seen from her since she's been on the team was, I was, I really was worried about shooting because she would just, it just was something where she had a hard time with, but she then was very dedicated and put in her own time and, and has kept, continued to make these improvements since getting on the team and really shoots actually really well. I think the last couple calls we've had, she passed his first go around it. And the improvement she's made just in that little bit of time is, has really been impressive, so. SWAT gives me the training and the tactical advancement over patrol. I feel that I am a lot safer when I go to calls and I go to situations. It's, it's nice I have it and I like to teach others around me. The tactical advantage that we are taught is absolutely amazing and I guarantee that I will be going home at the end of the night due to the tactics that we are taught. It shouldn't be for the average person, it should be for the person who's willing to put in work and try to put themselves to a different standard of physical capability and, and willing to put in the time to train. I've never worked so hard for anything in my entire life. I finally got what I wanted and to be part of that elite group that is called for when things go wrong, just it, the pride is in itself is amazing. One of the hardest parts of being on the SWAT team is being on the SWAT team with my husband. Um, he is amazing at everything he does and we get compared against each other a lot, but at the end of the day, we're always a team. So it's good the team likes to make jokes and giggle and make fun. It's weird, there's never been a SWAT team, there's never been a female on the SWAT team before, and now there's a married couple on the SWAT team, so it's, we're treading new water here in Ogden. <laughs> Actually being on the team now uh, has changed the team a lot. When I went to try out a lot of the old timers, the command staff, uh, they were like, a woman can't do it. How are you gonna manage your time between family and home life and kids and SWAT? And you're not very big. Are you going to be able to car carry a big guy out who's in full kit? Um, and I feel that now that I've done that, I've definitely earned the respect and I've shown that women can do it. The atmosphere has completely changed um, since then. I have earned the respect of my team and I know that they count on me um, and they know that um, if things go wrong, that. I'm a person that they want there and vice versa. For female officers especially who are working here in the department, if they want to do something, she can say, well, look, I, you know, you can do it. 
there's nothing holding people back, I don't think, here. History is changing and women are a part of this career just as much as men. And if you put your mind to it, you'll be able to achieve anything that you want to. She broke the mold of what I think people would expect. I have tried to encourage as many females as I can. Some are still put off. It's not as common as I would like it to be. Um, I help and encourage any officer who wants to go through. Um, we help train and get prepared for Hell Week for the new people trying out. I just think that uh, Jenna and and I don't I don't like to necessarily separate our female officers from other officers. They're all officers. They all work. They all have their strengths. We all have our weaknesses, and they're just great officers. And you just think about what a great example they are for this police department. I am so proud, and I regularly go out in public and talk about my phenomenal female police officers because it can be harder. It can be intimidating to get into this world and to be successful and to take on challenges like Jen has taken on. But I, I'm just so proud, and uh, it's something that it uh, empowers me when new candidates come through the door who may be female to to be able to praise how well we've done and how well not only now but in the past what a great legacy we have of leadership from female police officers in this police department so it's a great history and I know it's going to be a great future. One of the biggest things that I learned throughout the entire process is that if you put your mind to it that you can do it you're not going to get it by not working towards it if you put in the work and you put in the effort you might fail the first time but if you keep putting in the work, you will get your goal. I am Jenna, and I am the first female operator on the Ogden Metro SWAT team.